Well, hey friends and welcome back. Today, I want to share with you what I packed for a two week trip to Alaska. To begin my packing process, I always like to start with figuring out what clothing I'll need while I'm away. And this trip in particular proved to be my biggest packing challenge to date because not only did I need to pack for temperatures ranging from 0 to 30 degrees Celsius, but given that half of the trip was a week on cruise, I also needed to pack for everything from zip lining and hiking to formal nights aboard the cruise ship. So I began with putting together a mini travel capsule, picking versatile and comfortable pieces that would mix and match with each other seamlessly. Or in other words, I packed a lot of neutrals and a lot of basics. What I find is that really just enables me to get the maximum wears possible out of each item that I bring. But then with my clothes picked out, I next like to fold everything neatly. I've never really been much of a packing keeps person, so instead what I like to do is to fold my clothing using a bit of a hybrid between the KonMari method of folding and rolling. I've nicknamed it the brick folding method because that's really the goal. You want to fold every item of clothing that you're bringing into a basic brick shape. The benefits of this are really threefold. First, much like with rolling your clothing, it helps to reduce wrinkles. Second, it makes it so that when you open your suitcase, you can just easily see all of your clothing neatly laid out. And then finally, it makes it so that when you remove an item, it doesn't immediately send your whole suitcase into chaos because the clothing stands up by itself. So it really is just a very powerful packing technique. But then as I finish folding a group of tops or bottoms, I'll just put them into my suitcase. Like I mentioned before, this really was a hugely difficult trip to pack for just because of the vast array of activities that we had on the schedule and weather that we needed to plan for. Plus, of course, the fact that once we boarded the cruise, there was no easy way of doing laundry on board. So packing layers and multi-use items truly was key. So for the two weeks I'd be gone, I packed in my suitcase three short sleeve shirts, three long sleeve shirts, three sweaters, a jacket, one dress and one skirt for the formal nights, two pairs of jeans, a pair of yoga pants, two athletic wear sets, one athletic top and pair of shorts, one pair of sleep shorts, one bathing suit, and two hats. Then for my travel day, I plan to wear an athletic tank, leggings, a flowy long sleeve, and to carry my coat separately. And all of my clothing, minus my jacket and two bulkier sweaters, fit neatly in the zippered left side of my suitcase. So at this point, I began focusing on everything else that I need on the trip, starting with undergarments. And even though I was packing for a two-week trip, I did plan on doing laundry once while in Vancouver before leaving for the cruise. So I decided to pack enough undergarments, socks, underwear, and bras for eight days. I just packed everything into this small zippered bag. Then for the bulky sweaters that I mentioned, what I decided to do for these was to pack them in a travel compression bag. These are super affordable and so handy for items like this. But essentially what you do is just pack some of those bulkier items into it, squeeze all of the air out, usually just by sitting on it, and then you just use the Ziploc style fastener to shut it tight. What this does is it just removes any excess air from the bag, making those items as compact as possible. Then for my shoes, apart from my hiking boots, which I plan to wear on the plane, I also decided to bring these cream high top sneakers for exploring, my running shoes for some of our more active days, and these sandals, which I figured I could either dress up for formal nights or wear to the pool. Then I turned my attention to my makeup and toiletries and my makeup bag is something that always stays packed, which makes it really easy just to grab and go. But since it had some extra room, I decided to add just a few extra items to it. So I just added in a couple bobby pins, my wide tooth comb, my deodorant and travel size razor. And all that fit in perfectly and just helped to ensure I wouldn't have loose items tumbling around my suitcase. Then to remove my makeup, I just packed a handful of these makeup removing pads, which I packed in yet another cloth bag. Then I began setting out all the liquids I would need. I just brought my tinted moisturizer, some hairspray, some shampoo and conditioner, a travel size body wash, some sea salt spray for my hair, bug spray because Alaska, and a bit of perfume and toothpaste. Then I just packed all of that into this TSA approved liquids bag. This is one of those things that I picked up a few years ago and has quickly become one of my favorite travel essentials. 
I love how sturdy it is, how it really contains any messes. And I feel like because I don't need to worry about it breaking on me, I really can fit a lot more in this thing. Then the last little bag that I prepared to go in my suitcase, as you can tell, I am all about trying to contain things when packing with my jewelry pouch. I love using jewelry to spice up a more basic outfit, so I decided to pack three necklaces, a couple of rings, and a pair of earrings. I went with all gold for versatility so that I could wear everything in different combinations. Then with all of my bags and pouches packed, I just laid everything out and began packing that other half of my suitcase. I have to say on this trip, I really did stretch the limits of what I could fit in a carry-on suitcase. And looking back, there probably are a handful of items that I could have gone without, but overall, I really was quite happy with all of the items that I decided to bring. I just began with putting in all of my shoes. Those are kind of the basic pieces that I like to work with. I like to think of packing a suitcase a lot like you would building a puzzle, beginning with the larger bits and easier pieces and working your way to the smaller stuff. That way you can just fill in the gaps and crevices as you go. So after putting in all the bigger bits, I just added in my hats, the jewelry bag, my little eyeshadow palette. Then last but not least, I placed the compression bag on top, folding in the sides of it, and zipped up the suitcase. Then with my carry-on packed, I next turned my attention to my personal item. And for this trip, I decided to bring this travel backpack, which is one of my favorite packing essentials. This bag really is just so well thought through and designed. The first thing that I put in here was my MacBook Pro, which I just slid into the dedicated laptop sleeve. Then I started setting out some of my travel must-haves, including my passport, wallet, and AirPods. I just put all of those into this coach wristlet. So this is really handy just to get out on travel days. You can get it out while on the airport. It's really easy to have all of those documents right on hand. And then of course, electronic cords and cables are just a part of life these days. So into this little pineapple pouch, I just packed my laptop and phone chargers. Then for me at least, I never travel anywhere without a camera. So I just packed this one into another cloth bag. Especially for long flights, I love bringing something to do while on the plane. So I just brought this little pouch containing all of my embroidery supplies. Then are you sensing a theme here? I love a cute little bag. And this one, I just keep all of my essentials packed. But to show you what I keep inside, I just have a hand cream, some lip gloss, hand sanitizer, a nail file, my trusty tie to go pen, a Pigma Micron pen, some ibuprofen, a little scrunchie, and some chapstick. I'm just gonna say it now, yes, I do realize some of these items should technically be in my liquids bag, but I've probably flown a dozen times with these items separate and in this pouch, and I have never once had an issue. So until I have an issue with it, I'm just going to continue keeping these items in here because it is just so much more convenient. Okay, but then for bags, let's talk about a little space-saving hack that I love, and that's just to pack bags within bags. So first I packed that little pouch inside my belt bag. This is something that I used a lot for excursion days and more active adventures. And I just placed that belt bag into my nicer purse, which I wanted to use for our formal nights and fancier evenings. And that really did just save a ton of space. But then like with my carry-on, once my little bags were packed, I just began laying everything out again so I could easily see it and adding to it just a handful of loose items that I wanted to bring in addition. So that includes things like my eye mask for sleeping on the plane, a couple Ziploc bags with various medications, a whole bunch of lactate pills so that I could have dairy while I was away, a pair of binoculars, which we actually purchased specifically for our trip to Alaska. I was so glad we did. We used them a ton and got to have so many incredible wildlife encounters. Then I also brought a couple of hair clips, an empty water bottle, and then two other things that I forgot to lay out were just my toothbrush and sunglasses. Then I started with filling up the rest of the backpack, beginning with the main compartment. And the way that I tried to pack this was putting some of those larger items at the bottom and then smaller items on top. And that way, when I was carrying the suitcase, none of those smaller, more delicate items would get crushed. And one of my favorite features of this bag is this little waterproof section. I always put my liquids and toothbrush in here. 
Then for the two front compartments, I just slid in all of my lactate pills and vitamins in the bottom one. And in the top one, I stored my eye mask. Then in the side compartment, I stored my sunglasses. I just figured that they might be safest here. Then the last thing was to pack the wristlet containing my passport. There's actually this really handy hidden zippered pouch in this bag. So I just slid that little wristlet right in. I love that it's against your back when you're traveling. So there's just that added layer of protection. Oh, and then just to keep them handy, I just attached my little hair clips on top here. But then with that, I was fully packed. So I just buckled everything up, lay out my clothing for our travel day, and prepared for the adventure of a lifetime. So I hope this gives you some inspiration and ideas on how you can pack smarter and pack lighter while still having all the essentials you may need, regardless of what your trip, the weather, or your itinerary may look like. While this was most certainly a packing challenge, having come back from the trip now, I can tell you it all went seamlessly. So I really hope you found this helpful and if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more content like this. And until next time friends, I am wishing you all the best and happy travels.